since not all of us have the perfect Instagram husband or even like an Instagram bestie to take our pictures or any of that, today I thought I'm gonna be showing you how I take my very own pictures for my Instagram. And just before we start, I just wanna say by no means I'm not a professional photographer or an Insta model or any of that. I just happen to be very much obsessed with Instagram at that point because spending four hours on Instagram a day is probably a lot yeah I even do it while I sleep so anyways if you guys are like me and you guys would like to see how I take my very own Instagram pictures then please keep on watching so what I like to do pretty much is just like take a few outfits with me or just like a few jackets or a few sweatshirts or sweaters so it looks like totally like a different day obviously especially if you like you know change your shoes change your glasses it looks completely like it's a different day especially you can literally walk one step to another place and it will literally look like as if you're in a different location something if you guys know what i mean you guys are going to see it you know in the continuous of this video if continuous is even a word but anyways for now what i'm going to be taking is obviously you know i have my black bodysuit as well as my high-waisted denim and i'm going to be taking my neon sweater with me which i feel like you guys have already been seeing me wearing in my previous video and we're also going to be taking this really cute brand new coat from Miss Guided, which you guys have already seen as well i feel like <laughs> So yeah, um, so we're gonna take these two so then basically I can wear it with the coat or without and as well as I'm gonna be grabbing this one right here so that obviously I can be wearing this on top of the bodysuit so we have totally like a different look you guys can already see how different this is than the other look that I just showed you. So besides of the outfit, here is all I'm bringing with me. So basically I'm gonna be taking some of these bags. By the way, if you guys didn't saw how I got this bag for $70, I'm gonna link this video right over here on the screen. Also, I'm gonna be taking some accessories so we can change it up, you know, and it will look like it's a different day, as well as some sunglasses. By the way, you guys, none of these sunglasses are actually a brand name. I mean, the most expensive one here was $20, which is this one, which is also my favorite. And we're gonna be taking some shoes with us. Look at this Lola Shootic silver boot. I mean, these ones are my favorite. This is legit, looks like a Balenciaga boot. So we're also gonna be needing some gear, and by gear, I really do mean my iPhone, because this is what I'm gonna be taking my pictures with today. And as well, this bad boy. For those of you who don't know what that is, I promise you, once we're gonna get to the streets of LA, I'm gonna be showing you what this bad boy can do. Honestly, if you guys are content creators or just like if you want to take your own pictures, you know, by yourself or any of that, you know, making like Instagram videos, IGTV videos, and you don't have the money for like an expensive camera, this is your best friend, you guys. There are so many photo op options in here. So you see I have this pink right over here. The sun just left me, so that's not okay. But I also have those really cute palm trees and everything. And this house, just in case I'll need it. And yes, this entire thing, you guys, it's an entire house. <laughs> And yeah, so over there also we have the iconic Beverly Hills sign. So I'm gonna go there. Well, the Beverly Hills Hotel sign. The Beverly Hills sign is literally very far away from here, but you get the point. <laughs> So to start off this photo shoot, all we're gonna need is to assemble the tripod and this is what I showed you guys when I was at home. So basically this is like a Bluetooth kind of a tripod that it has a remote and so all you have to do, it's like so simple. You're gonna take the remote and you're gonna turn it on and basically you're just gonna connect the Bluetooth to the remote and that is pretty much it. It's this easy and so from here Tum -da -dum, you're gonna start voguing around and pretty much posing around to the camera I really do highly recommend you guys just like to move around as much as you can just because you know you may not gonna like this angle or the other angle or any any of that or just like you know just like play with your coat have something in your hand in this picture I don't really had anything in my hand just because I knew that I wanted some close-up pictures so I wasn't really focusing on that and also I have these ugly sneakers on me but for that I came back to my car because I realized that I want a totally different vibe for the next look so I changed it up to these really cute booties that looks like uh, you know a Balenciaga or a fake one whatever <laughs> This 
so now it looks like it's a totally different day. I should probably change my sunglasses as well. Hold on. So now after I change my boots and I have a different bag in my hand, I'm gonna teach you another Instagram hack. So all you're gonna do, you're just gonna move two steps away from where you were actually at the moment and tam -ta -da -dam, you're gonna start posing and again it will look like a different day, a different scenario, a different vibe or whatever is it that you really want to call it. And so yeah, once again I'm posing around and then your kids listen. Don't try this at home because I almost got hit by a car three times <laughs> during this you know scenario or whatever this is the second time and yeah there is a third one i promise somewhere in this video but anyways from here as i said i'm taking all the pictures with the front camera but then you guys can totally do the other camera of the iphone because it actually takes better pictures eventually i did you know turn around the camera so i was like okay it's whatever and actually those pictures were the best pretty much i was actually just kicked out of like literally the sidewalk of this house because i was shooting myself like things are getting really you know dramatic over here in la so <laughs> Don't shoot by this house if you're at a Beverly Hills hotel. Anyways, now I'm gonna go there to see if we have some more cute locations because clearly I can't shoot myself next to this really cute house. So, it's whatever. <laughs> So now moving on to the third outfit and I'm here at the front of the Beverly Hills Hotel and of course we have some people in the background and tam -ta -da -dam, of course once again I'm taking you know some pictures posing around and so I saw this really cute red car in the background and I was like oh yes I need a pictures with that as well and so obviously I adjusted the tripod as you guys can see it's super easy super convenient and obviously I was really scared that I will get kicked out from there as well and I saw the valet guy in the background and I was like oh my god let this be a very good picture but honestly I was so stressed so I didn't end up liking those pictures but then again it's fine as long as I had them one pair of pants later so I changed my look as you guys can see obviously I changed clothes in the car and I actually wear this really really cute and cozy sweatshirt it's like an oversized sweatshirt but then I have my bodysuit still underneath so it's kind of like good I wasn't like naked or something and also I'm wearing these really cute leather leggings and I changed my shoes as well and obviously I have two pairs of glasses so that I can choose which one I'm gonna actually be wearing or maybe I will change it up we'll see but then now I'm here in another location and I'm gonna be taking some picture in this iconic Mel's drive-in and that is that so so for this look I kind of decided to take my hair up you know just so that it really looks like it's a different day and it's a whole different vibe and just so that you know it won't look boring on my Instagram and so as you guys can see I came a little bit closer so that I have some close up if I needed to or you know for whatever reason because we need like 500 pictures in the end and that is pretty much it so from here once I finished with everything I pretty much turn off the remote and just like you know the the assignment the tripod and that is pretty much it later so it has been a very long day you guys so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go home to edit all my pictures if you guys want to see a video on that then i'm gonna leave a link down here in the description on how i edit my pictures and that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here and don't forget the most important thing in a world full of fishes be a baby shark hey.